Tonight, a special dirty dining that has outraged many in South Florida after we exposed a restaurant that had 110 violations. The owner told us by phone since he was ordered shut, things have been fixed and are great. But local 10 News investigator Jeff Weinseer has learned that is very far from the truth. No cameras. No cameras what? Don't, first of all, don't That's touch. The, first of all, first of all, don't touch the camera. Arrested? 110 violations. It's the worst inspection we've seen in a long time. That was back in January. Kevin, who owns China Buffet at 113th and Bird Road, didn't want to talk to us about his 110 violations. But today we were back again. No, I need yeah. to talk to Kevin. Okay, no here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can you call him? Okay, no here. Yeah. Sorry. I want to talk to you. Why? Don't why, why, why? Don't. Don't touch my camera. Why, why do you keep? I don't touch my camera. Why do you keep? Why, why is the place not getting better? Kevin wasn't here. State records show since being ordered shut back in January, inspectors have been here nine times. China Buffet was ordered shut again February 4th. 74 violations were found then. On February 22nd, another 86 violations were found, many repeat violations. Why is the place not getting any better? In fact, if you add up all of the violations from all those inspections, there are 518. From insects in the kitchen, an objectionable odor in the establishment, equipment coated with grease and food debris, food out of temperature. No, 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 no coming. When we went into the kitchen back in January, we found fish sitting on the filthy floor. No one could tell us what was in this sink in the dishwashing area, but it stunk. There was also a foul odor coming from this bathroom in the kitchen that was full of standing water that smelled like sewage. Why is this place allowed to stay open and serve you food? In the past, the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation has told Local 10 News they work with restaurant owners to get them into compliance, that it's really not their job to shut places down permanently. But in this case... We sent an email to the Department of Business and Professional Regulation asking that very question. We haven't heard back yet, but you now know the track record here and what continues to go on behind the kitchen door. Jeff White's here, Local 10 News. Jeff, thanks. And remember, Local 10 has made it easy for you to see any restaurant inspection statewide right on your smartphone. Just download our free restaurant inspection app by searching Restaurants Florida in the App Store.